What's going on everyone? In this video, I want to talk about creating a SOX proxy with Amazon Web Services to make it appear like your internet traffic is coming from the US, London, Sydney, or kind of anywhere uh, in this list of AWS data centers. Um, and the purpose of this is to make sure your traffic looks like it's coming from one of these countries to prevent you being geo-restricted or maybe your, your home IP address has been um, blacklisted so you need another IP address. Um, basically this just bypasses those filters or it's one of the ways you can do that. So to set up a SOX proxy, the first thing you're going to want to do is create an AWS account and go to the EC2 dashboard. So if you just type in EC2 and go to the dashboard here. If you then go to your running instances and then go and head and pick an area where you need an IP from. So if you want a US IP address, you pick one of the US data centers. If you want to come from Paris, then you would put Europe Paris and I'll get you an IP address in Paris. So I need a US box. So I'm in US East North Virginia. From here, you want to launch instances and just search for Ubuntu. Now you can kind of pick any flavor of Linux you want. I'm just going to use Ubuntu because it's free tier eligible, meaning um, you can use um, different things and it'd be free. Uh, whereas if you use one of these other um, AMIs, it might not be free. So go ahead and just pick Ubuntu Server 1804. That's what I'm going to use. Make sure that the instant type is this free tier eligible T2 micro um, server. So then, yeah, it will be free for you. Click review and launch, launch the box, and then it's going to ask you to create or use an existing key pair. So this is how you're going to SSH into the box um, and make it a bit more secure than just using a password. So um, you can either create, if you used AWS before, you can use an existing key pair or you can create a new key pair. So I don't have uh, an existing key pair, so I'm gonna create a new key pair here. Uh, I'm just gonna name this tutorial. And then you can go ahead and just download your key pair. That gives you a tutorial.pem file. So if you just wanna pop, pop that into a folder, like so, you then want to open up putty gen .exe, which you can find in the description if you haven't seen that before, and then load that file into putty gen. You then want to save the private key and you can add a password, but for, for this tutorial, I'm not gonna add a password just for ease. Uh, you'd put your password in there. Save it into that same file. I'm just gonna call it tut, save that. You'll see that's now saved a .ppk PPK file, and that's how we're going to uh, log into this AWS box. So now we've saved that, we can just launch the instance. And what this is doing now in the, the AWS backend, it's creating that box, setting up the networking, um, for you to have access to the uh, Ubuntu box. And you can see here in the instant state that it's pending, meaning the box is just booting up. So uh, I'll come back when that's done. Okay, so you can see the instant state is now running, meaning the box is up and active. Um, you can see this is the public IPv4 address. So that's the internet routable address. So you just wanna copy that. So just control C. Open up Putty, which again, if you've never seen this before, is in the description to download. And then you want to pop that IP address into the hostname and IP address box. Port 22 is SSH, so that's what we're using. Um, it's a good idea to save your session. So that saves all the settings we're about to make. As you can see, it's just loaded here, and you can load that by clicking on it and pressing load. And what we want to do here to make the SOX proxy using Putty is open this SSH tab, go to tunnel, add a source port. So this can be kind of any number you want as long as it's not being used on your uh, laptop or computer already. So I'm just gonna go with uh, 3333. 
The destination is going to be the IP address of this server and we want to click this dynamic box to make sure the um, traffic that we're sending to this SOX proxy is going to be used on the box. Um, it kind of creates a mapping of those ports. Click add and that creates that dynamic 3333 port which you'll see we'll use in a minute. And the only other thing you need to do now is auth. So we made that private key file. So click auth and browse for your private key that we made, which was this tut.ppk. Go back to session and just go ahead and save that again. Now we can log into the box. So uh, for Ubuntu, just accept that. The uh, user that you want to be logging into is Ubuntu. And that uses the SSH key that we created to log into the box. So if you've added a password, this is the time where you're going to have to use that password. So now by logging into this box, that's all we needed to do to create the SOX proxy. So Putty using that 3333 port, dynamic port, has created a SOX proxy. So now when we try and connect to our IP address using the 3333 port, we will be able to route our traffic uh, using this public IP. So what we want to do now is go into your browser. If you refresh, so my IP address is this at home. So you, to use your SOX proxy, if you just go ahead and go to settings, scroll down to settings and get rid of anything here if it's already there. And we're going to use SOX host, pop your AWS IP there with, sorry, not your AWS IP, you want to be putting your local address, IP address there, and 3333. Because what has happened with this putty is that by logging in, it's created a local port 3333. So you actually want to use your uh, your local IP address. So you can put localhost here if you want to. And just go, go ahead and OK that. And what this is going to do now when we click refresh is it's going to try and connect to our uh, AWS box, route this Google request to that box, and then it will return the request through that box back to us. So rather than using your home public IP address, it's going to use the AWS IP address. So when I try and look at my IP address now, you'll see that it's changed to that AWS IP address. So all our traffic is now going through America and that should stop any IP address restrictions or geographical restrictions when you're connecting to websites. Um, and you could maybe even use that for things like Netflix or stuff like that, although that is not allowed, so I don't suggest doing that. But um, yeah, in a nutshell, that's how you create a SOX proxy um, and that is how you, well, yeah, connect to different websites using different country IPs. Um, while I'm here, I might as well show you how to do this in Burp Suite. So if you open up your Burp Suite and go to uh, user options, down here you've got a SOX proxy setting. So you just literally put in the exact same details that we've just used in the browser. Use SOX proxy. Um, and of course, when you're using Burp, the default is this localhost 8080. So we just have to go back to settings and change it back to the burp settings which were 127.0.0.1.8080 and then we use that HTTPS go ahead and we're now using burp again and that all works but this time it's routing through burp which then routes to your AWS box sends a request from the US comes back to your AWS box comes back to your burp and back to the browser so now you can go ahead and intercept those requests if you really want to, like that. So that's SOX proxies. Thanks for watching guys, hope you learned something. Like and subscribe, thank you.